Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about budget beauty and I have 10 products that are under 10 euro that I think are deadly that I think you should try out if you are looking after your fundage. First up we have this little dinky perfume from Rituals. Now this bottle I know is teeny tiny. Oh wait. Oh. oh it just smells gorgeous. So this is the Oasis de Fleurs scent. I had to like spray some and this was in the Rituals Advent Calendar which I'm totally 100% going to buy again this year because it was amazing and I fell in love with this, Man fell in love with it, Joanne fell in love with it so I got to keep this one and then Joanne and Man bought their own bottle as well. So this little bottle is 950 it's not going to last me very long but I don't care because I just want to smell lovely all the time because I've gotten sick of like I'm not holding on to stuff for good use you have to enjoy it. I'm going to spray it on me like loads. If you love kind of white floral, clean, marine almost, you're going to love this. They have a few different perfumes in the range. Um, the bigger size is 39.50, but if you're looking to try maybe a new fragrance and you don't want to commit to spending nearly 40 euro for one, definitely give these a go. Like right now it's freezing out, but there's blue sky and it's crisp and fresh. And I love scents like this on a day like that because I just feel like spring is coming, even though it's probably not like it's supposed to snow. And that's why I love the advent calendars as well because I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for the advent calendar, do you know? Number two will come as no surprise if you follow me on Instagram because I used these last week after I started to develop another human person coming out of my face. I know, and I don't get blemishes. I just, I had a product that I was using that was too heavy for my skin and my skin went, no! And then start growing. Um, so I was looking around my room going, what do I have that will take it down? And I remembered I had a tub, a brand new tub of my Waxperts Wonder Pads. Now these contain salicylic acid and the initial kind of use for them was for if you suffered from ingrown hairs after waxing and um, that helps kind of eliminate those. But over the course of the years, Ellen was saying online to use these on blemishes. And I was like, okay, sure, give it a go. But then I didn't really get blemishes until that yolk was coming down my face. So I opened up my new pot um, I did speak about these in my monthly favourites as well, so I'm not going to repeat. So there is a smoother side and a more textured side. And so what you're supposed to do is kind of zhuzh it all over your skin, um, lightly and gently. And the night that I had the breakout, I sat there with my fleece and my home bun was up here and I just sat with that on my face. And over the course of a couple of hours, because I was working on the computer, um, I took it off and 100% the blemish had gone down because it was one of those sore ones. You know, if you touched on it, it was like, oh, ow. That had completely flattened down. Woke up the next morning, it was gone. I still had like redness from the initial mm, trying to come through my face, but it was gone completely. And if you're somebody, you don't even have to wax to be able to use these. If you shave and if you suffer from ingrown hairs, totally worth having on standby just in case, you know. So today is Monday and I have fresh hair, lovely and clean, just been washed. But I'd say when we get to about Wednesday, Thursday, I'm about 82% dry shampoo. See, I have greasy hair and I don't like to wash it every day. I'm trying to get out of the habit of that. Um, but because I get such, like, I get such build up and if I wear my hair up, you can just see like lines of grease, it's like scust, just scust. Um, so I always have my Batiste dry shampoo. It's my favorite one. It doesn't make my scalp itch or anything. Um, and what I like to do is, this is a tip, passing from me to you but I actually read it somewhere else but I don't remember where I read it is I apply this before I go to bed okay because you know the way when you apply dry shampoo you're supposed to kind of let it sit for a few minutes and then you're supposed to work it into your um, scalp but if you apply it before you go to bed when you're tossing and turning in bed that is doing the judging for you you wake up and you've got fresh hair they have loads of different ones but I love that one the blush one and I also love the one that has um, the bit of colour in it like the blonde one because it kind of hides like my greys a little bit look at my greys I anyway, I don't think I could be without dry shampoo. Thanks for existing in the world. You make me look half decent. I'll be wearing you tomorrow. So last year, Alex Steiner launched her own collection with Penny's Beauty, or was it Primark Beauty, PS dot dot dot. Three dots, that's very important. Um, and so I've been testing out some of the products I like, kind of on and off, but this is the one that I have reached for every single day, because I love it. This is a beaut. This is the Sleep Spa Overnight Lip Mask. And I actually don't know what I did before this because it is just brilliant. I suffer from really dry lips all the time anyway. Um, and then when I can feel dry skin, I end up peeling off and then it just, it's like a cycle of horrificness. So it's, I'm, I'm actually disgusted with myself. Like, I am like, um, but this is gorgeous. So you're supposed to wear it overnight. Now, hold on, it's pink like. So I was there going, okay. Mm. Thought that was a bit weird to have like a tinted, lip mask for overnight um, but I wear this at night, I wear it during the day, it's always in my handbag. It's one of those lip products that actually does something to my lips because I've tried loads over the years and there are some that just sit on top of 
the dry skin don't do anything, don't soften it or anything. But with this, it softens like any dry skin on my lips. It helps repair them, I think. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. And it just gives a little pink sheen to your lips as well. Um, if they brought more of those out in different flavors and colors and all that, I would 100% buy that. I had to give a little shout out to the Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Powder. So there are mainly three powders that I reach for all the time. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder, then the Note Cosmetics, what is it, the Mineral Powder? I think that's just slightly over the 10, but this one is insane. Like I've tried a few of the budget powders like from the different brands, but this one is the closest to the Charlotte Tilbury one out of all of them so far. It's so lightweight, it's so finely milled. I use it just on my tees on. I never really powder my cheeks. I just want to keep my oily bits nice and matte, but without looking cakey or heavy. And this just sits so nicely on my skin. It goes over all of my foundations beautifully and I love it. I will absolutely repurchase that when I finish it and I will finish it. I don't find that it clings to any dry patches or anything. It does keep my skin looking matte for hours and yeah, can't say enough good things about that. It's fab. I use the shade 01 Beige. It's quite yellow toned as well. I'll show you compared to the Charlotte Tilbury one. You can see, so the Charlotte Tilbury one is more kind of neutral, whereas the Note one is a little bit more yellow, but it doesn't translate um, yellow on the skin. It is lovely, I have it on today. So next up we have these blushes from Kiko. I know I've spoken about them loads, but I just wanted to give them a little shout out because you can order online from Kiko. Check the um, shipping info to see how much you have to spend to get free shipping. But I think shipping is cheap enough. Um, but yeah, I bought these in Spain last year. So this is shade, where are we? This is shade seven, this is shade five. They're different. Okay, just so you know. This is more kind of neon curl and this is more salmon curl. They're so, they're different. If I go to Spain again this year, I'm totally gonna buy more because they're so pigmented. They blend onto the skin like a butter. Um, both of them have like a tiny little bit of a sheen, not too much, but enough to give you kind of like light and radiance. I don't have it on today. Um, these are like my summer shades, but I think I would enjoy, let me think. I would enjoy maybe like a more peachy one that was different. Um, a dusky pink one, I'd love one of those. And maybe like a mauve, mauve one. But I'm telling you, these blushes outperform a lot more of the high-end ones that I have in my collection. They're so pigmented, a little bit goes a long way, so just dab your brush in, apply, assess the situation, and then go back in if, if you need to. But you're probably not going to need to. Packaging is grand, like, it's just acrylic, but it doesn't feel cheap or anything. It has, like, a proper little closey liddy thing. So I don't feel like if I had it in my makeup bag that it would open up and get everywhere. But I love them. Kiko, do you know what? Kiko, <clears throat> if you're listening to me, Kiko, could you please come to like Ireland, like to Dublin, so that I can access you properly? Because like the effort of having to go up to Belfast or like having to go to Spain or something. So yeah, if you could come to Dublin, that'd be great. Okay, thank you. Now I'm a fan of now lip crayon because they're just so handy. You can just plop it on as you're going along. And I love the Flormar Color Up Lip Crayons. I just have this one. So I have this one on underneath um, a gloss that I have on today. This is in lovely pink. And they have, I think, either seven or eight shades. And um, they look like this. They have a little twisty uppy mechanism. They're so creamy, so comfortable to wear on the lips. And they're fab. They last for ages. Now there is a, hold on, I have to like take that off because I will get that everywhere. Yeah, they are creamy. They are pigmented. They're opaque. Um, I have a blog post with all of the swatches. I'll leave that link below if you want to go and have a little look. Because again, they're really comfortable to wear on the lips. They don't dry out my lips at all because um, some products can. Because I think I'm kind of... I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna regret it. Like I'm kind of finished with matte lips for like a little bit, maybe until the autumn. But when it comes to spring, I love like something with like a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of a sheen and just be like, yes, I'm here. Anyway, they are totally worth checking out. Um, the lid stays on, it doesn't snap, but it has like a proper, yeah, I always have one of those in the bottom of my handbag ready to go whenever I need it. Next up is another product that was in my monthly favorites, but I had to give it a shout out. This is the So Sue by Suzanne Jackson makeup sponge. It's like less than six euro and it is so good. Like, I just tell you, if I was the beauty blender, I'd be nervous. Because I've tried a few more of the budget makeup sponges across the board. Um, none of them have been as soft, have absorbed as much water, have given the most flawless finish as this one. If you haven't tried it, oh my God, you're missing out. I think that if you try this, you won't go back to beauty blender. Next up, we have like this little, I don't know, I think it's such an underrated little brand. Oh! I was trying to say it was an underrated brand, but it's the Mavala nail polishes. I just think they're the cutest things. So, like, I don't know about you, because I don't have my nails painted at the moment. Um, when it comes to nail polish, I don't think I've ever finished a bottle of it. Like, I have a grand collection, and then I'll switch between them sometimes. But having a small one like this is so handy for, like, popping in the bottom of your handbag if you need to, like, do a little bit of touch-up. 
um, on the go. And then when I went to France last year, I forgot to paint my nails before I went, and I bought this in one of the pharmacies over there. I was like, oh my god, my man. Um, it's like lemon drop. I just, because we were going to see a sunflower field, I needed jello. Um, but my favourite shade, which I wore loads last year, is Wacky Key Orange. It's fab. And then they have um, neutral shades as well. So they're 4 .95. You only get how much in it? I don't, I don't know. A 5 ml. Um, so, like, it's not amazing value for money, but if you are somebody who would prefer to finish a bottle than to let a bigger bottle go gloopy, they're definitely worth picking up. And they're cute. Dinky. And then finally we have the highlight that I have on today and it is from Wet n Wild and it's the Mega Glow Hello Halo. Did I say that right? Hello Halo. <laughs> um, this is the shade Oh Halo Goodbye. Now what I like about this is the finish. I'll show you now. So it has one of those massive doe fruit applicators. I don't know if this is a bit overkill but so I dab a couple of drops onto my cheekbones and then it's best um, worked into the skin either with your finger or with your beauty blender. I find with a brush it can kind of move your foundation a little bit. That's what it looks like. And I like liquid highlighters that give a sheen, that don't look like glitter on the skin. They I have a grand sheen thanks to this. Um, I'm not sure if there are more colours, I must actually investigate. I said that'd be really nice if it came in a rose gold um, shade as well. But it's just a champagne shimmery highlight that's just one of those kind of solid shades to have that like everybody should have in their collection. Yes, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. Those are just some of the products that I have in my collection that are under 10 euro that I think are deadly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like me to do more. Or if you want me to do my luxury favourite products, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. I would just be eternally grateful. I'd be your best pal. See you in the next video. Thanks so much. Oh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye.